Hey, good night, everyone. I'd like to start off by saying my name is Dimitri, and I was encouraged to make this video, which is the first possibly of many videos, because usually and often I'd have encounters with a lot of spiritual activity. And I'd just like to start off by giving all of the glory to God, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for through salvation, we are saved by His precious blood. And I am sharing this video because I believe that I can't keep these to myself. I have to let the world know what the Lord tells me. And in starting, I many people will kind of call it weird, but sometimes I would feel presences, whether it be something demonic or whether it be as simple as someone walking outside of the room and I would feel their presence coming without even hearing them, which usually startles me. And one night, it was about 12 o'clock midnight. I was up and my uncle was up and he was watching Naruto, it's an anime. And everyone in the house was sleeping except my uncle and I. So right when I was about to get sleepy and I was about to go to sleep I felt this presence and when I felt this presence I thought to myself wait if everyone in my house is sleeping and my uncle is here watching Naruto then why is it that I can feel something moving around automatically at least immediately I sensed that this was something demonic and I prayed and I rebuked and I rebuked and I, re and I rebuked in Jesus name and I felt so good about realizing that it was a demonic presence that I had felt and that I had prayed against it and when I did this I went to sleep immediately I was on my bunk I was on my bunk and immediately when I was sleeping I rolled over when I had rolled over my eyes were shut and when I opened my eyes it was almost it was the most how should I say many people usually make movies and these movies they have an idea of what these creatures look like they make them ugly they make them putrid disgusting and horrible but if we could actually see these things with our spiritual eyes then we we we, we, we may not have our own sanity when I encountered this I opened my eyes and I saw what was a demon right two feet in front of my face and I got up when I got up I screamed to the top of my lungs but at the same time it was like I was seeing in two different worlds I was seeing at an aerial view and I was also seeing in front of me my uncle who was sitting down watching Naruto he got up immediately and he started shaking me and he started to say Dimitri Dimitri time I'm in front of his face my uncle's face screaming to the top of my lungs ah, ah, ah! but at the same time this demon is in front of me making this sound almost sounded like it was regurgitating inside of his mouth almost like it was speaking some sort of language but it sounded disgusting and sounded putrid it was like it was like and as it started to speak I was just screaming and from the aerial view I saw my family waking up out of their room and they came out of their room opened our room and came inside and they were saying what was going on in here mind you now it was like I was seeing in the spirit and I was also seeing what was before me at that same exact time and I was the fear that you could have actually felt it can't be explained and I was so confused I was so baffled of what was actually going on and when my uncle continued to shake me it was like reality twisted into itself it was like it was like almost like a cloud how it is right now and it twisted into itself I can't really explain you have to forgive me but right when this happened it was like the demon like disappeared and I realized that my uncle I came to my sense and realized that my uncle was before me and when I had realized this, I was like, ah, 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 and he's like, you all right, buddy? And I was like, I, I don't know. And he said, he think I got hauled down. I don't know if 
Any of you ever heard the saying, got hold down from demons? Some may call it sleeping paralysis. But he was saying that I'd gone through and I, I was saying that it wasn't that that I had went through. And when that had happened, my uncle, <laughs> my uncle said he thought someone broke into this house, tying us by heaven a demonic encounter. Let me get my back to sleep. But when that had happened, I was confused. I was struck with confusion because before I went to sleep, I realized that there was a demon in the house and I prayed and I prayed and I prayed and I, re I rebuked and I rebuked and I rebuked in Jesus' name, but nothing happened. God still allowed me to have that encounter. And I could possibly tell everyone who's watching this video this, be careful of what you ask for. Because I always had asked God to open my sight so that I can see into the spirit. And the moment that I was able to see into the spirit, I had no sanity. Many times Christians would say, oh, if I was able to see this demon, I would mash it right up in the spirit. But trust me, if you could even fathom the sight of these things, you would regret the very words that you would actually speak. And I asked God, I said, why would you let me? Why would you let me have that encounter? I knew that it was there and I prayed against it, but you still allowed me to experience it. Why? And I heard the voice of the Holy Spirit speaking to me strongly. It was almost like he gave me a scenario inside of my spirit and I saw it like in a vision. I saw a demon on an assignment in my other uncle's room. However, the very, the very acknowledgement that I was aware of it, it did not like that. Demons do not like being exposed. They do not like being found out. And when I had rebuked, I rebuked and I rebuked in Jesus' name. However, the scenario was like, the demon came inside the room and he's like, oh, you see me? And then he stepped back out. When he felt like the coast was clear, he came back and stand over me. I was, mind you, I was on top of my bunk. This thing had to at least be seven, seven feet tall. And I believe God took the vision, the, the, the memory of how the demon looked away from my mind because I couldn't keep my sanity. And mind you now, I try my best to hold my faith in all things that I do, but at that moment, I had no control of my sanity whatsoever. I was in complete fear. Complete fear overtook my whole being. Something that I wouldn't pray for my worst enemy. And when all of this had happened, the demon could not touch me. However, the very fact that it was in front of me, knowing that I was aware that it was there, it felt threatened. And it only could have stared. When I opened my eyes, we cannot see these things in the flesh. God, it is God himself that allowed me to experience this and open my eyes so that I could be aware of what happened at that exact time. And when I was when I was when I was aware, I cowered in fear. And the Holy Spirit spoke and he said, I did pray. I did pray and rebuke and rebuke and rebuke. However, many Christians out there, many believers in Christ out there, they pray and they rebuke and they rebuke and rebuke. However, when they rebuke, they do not bind. They do not condemn back to hell from whence it came. So when they rebuke these spirits, they only go out of the room. And then not only even out of the room, they go out of whatever they are, they're assigned to do for a short moment. And they come right back into our lives to wreak torment more than ever. That's why when people are sick, they rebuke these sicknesses in Jesus' name. And the sickness goes at that time. And it comes back and do a whole nother course on you. And I realized when we pray, we not only have to pray and rebuke, however, we have to bind and condemn these spirit in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior, and condemn them back to hell from whence they've came. Because I believe that my God is a God that has power. And as long as you believe this, this power, no demon has authority over you. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And I believe that my God is a God that can overcome all things. He has overcome death. He has overcome all witchcraft, all sickness, disease, all of these things he've overcome. And that is just a testimony I would like to share 
that I had shared with everyone because I believe that God had placed it on my heart strongly to share with everyone who's listening and who's watching this video right now. God bless, and I hope this video encourages everyone who had watched it. Amen.